Hello everybody. <clears throat> Hope you're fine and doing well. This is name uh with another video series regarding a PHP with push notifications and code igniter. And uh, nowadays web push notification is a crucial requirement for your website, especially when you're when you're having an e-commerce website or such a website that you're selling some services or products. So it is good to send some notifications uh, in your uh, with your uh, browser, uh, like if the browser is open or not. Whenever somebody subscribes to it, so it will, they will receive uh, a push notification when they open their browser. So this is a very good option and very helpful. Uh, like there are most websites that uh, they they let you implement this thing but they will they will have a limit for uh, some uh, like for 3000 subscribers or 5000 or 30000 and after that you have to pay for to them monthly uh, basis so you can develop for with, with your own knowledge in Coregniter to help build this uh, a really, really good technology and implement it in your application. So this is a simple and very easy uh, application. We are going to start from the start and uh, develop everything step by step. So the requirements are uh, you have to know the knowledge of HTML, CSS, JavaScript and a little knowledge is enough. Also, for the back end, we are using PHP since we are using uh, the Core Igniter framework, and the MySQL knowledge is also enough with the PHP My Admin since this is the admin uh, admin section of the PHP, which is the GUI you can easily create and delete the databases. Open SSL just to have an SSL like uh, a dummy SSL certificate like uh, personal science certificates is good for the uh, framework we are uh, using the XAMPP uh, which is for uh, uh, like you can you can have it for all the platforms and if you want to specific platforms you can have LAM which is for Linux, VAM for Windows and VAM for Mac and also the IDE you can use VS Code, Sublime, Atom, PHP, uh, JetBrains, whatever you like you can do you, you can use that one I am using uh, VS Code in this uh, tutorial and uh, for the package management we are having Composer just to uh, implement the and, uh, the web push uh, uh, package from the composer package manager so that we can use that library and the library name is php web push notification and also the bootstrap 4 for the designing of this uh, application and the web push package which is to generate the public and private keys so that we can use them in our website and store them in a secure place. So first of all, let's see what is the web push notification. Web push notifications are notifications that can be sent to a user via desktop, web and mobile web. And these are alert style messages uh, that slide in at the top or bottom right hand corner of the desktop screen. And it depends on your operating system, you're using Windows, uh, mostly to appear on the right side, bottom, and if you are using Len uh, Linux or Mac, I think they are coming out, uh, at, the, at the top side. On mobile devices, you, you have also seen that you are receiving some notifications, especially everybody who are using Facebook or Twitter or whatever, when their notifications are enabled, they will receive a notification on their screen that somebody had texted you, posted you, or uh, commented in a post whatever 
So this is the same kind of notification, but you're receiving these things from your browser when you subscribe to it. Web push notifications are delivered on a user's desktop or mobile screen anytime they have, have their browser open. So regardless of whether the user is on the website. So it doesn't matter if, if, if the person is uh, visiting your website or not. Once they have visited your website and they have subscribed to it, they will receive whenever the browser is open. Is open. This is a simple example how you will see, receive or see the push notifications okay guys uh, we will see how to set up the environment in our next video